Unlike most of the other projects in this course, we recommend you use your personal Google account and not your school account for this project. The reason for this is that some school accounts do not allow the use of Firebase, others restrict the email into those accounts. We're going to start by setting up our Firebase project. Before we do that, we want to make sure that we are signed in to our personal Google account. And now I'm just going to go over to Firebase. That's Firebase.com. And we're going to hit this Getting Started button. And these are some projects that I've created in the past. You probably have a blank page here. Uh, you simply click this Add Project button over here and then you start by giving your project a name. We're going to call our project Clicker and it's just going to take a few seconds to create the project. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, Firebase is now done setting up the project. You can see the name of the project up here and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the database section and then we're going to hit this plus button which will expand the data but here of course we don't have any data so what we're going to do is we're going to hover over the root node and we're going to hit the plus button to create a child node underneath the root node and for our clicker app we're just going to have two children one is going to be the agree count and we'll just set it to uh, zero initially and then we're going to add uh, and uh, we're going to add one more uh, we'll call that the disagree and we'll uh, set that to zero also. One quirk of Firebase I want to show you is that if we ever need to change this data, uh, let's say we wanted to change this data from zero to uh, 74 or some such, if I just type 74 here and then I click outside the box, you see it returns to zero. Uh, to change something in Firebase, you have to position your cursor after the data and hit the Enter button and you can see that it lights up in yellow for a second showing that it did accept the change. Before we leave this tutorial, uh, let's have a look at the rules and you can see that what it says here is that the default security requires users to be authenticated. Now authentication is a fairly complicated topic for Firebase and if we have time we'll add the authentication feature in an enhancement but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the authentication so that anyone can read or write to this database. Admittedly that's kind of a dangerous thing to do. Uh, but what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, well there's a couple of ways to do this. The easy way is you can just turn these into double equals and now what it says is that you, you have to be not signed in in order to access the database. Uh, let's just leave it like that for now. That's all we need to do inside Firebase. Let's go back to Android Studio.